Hello, you're welcome to another edition of the Light TV Show. This is where we amplify views and project values. I am Ifi Arano Kafo, and today I have the privilege to interview someone who is a mentor to me and to many young persons across Nigeria and even globally. While I was in the university, it was right under her wings that I was nurtured, and then I made a first class in the Department of Mass Communication in Namdi Azikiwe University. In the Department of Mass Communication, Namdi Azikiwe University. And she was the HOD at the time. Actually, she grew from the humble beginning as a secondary school teacher to a tertiary institution lecturer. And that was when she was a lecturer at the Department of Mass Communication at UNISIC. And right there, she nurtured a lot of us into becoming great communicators. Well, she is no other than the Honorable Commissioner for Basic Education, Anambra State, Professor Kate Omeno. I'm always good to have <laughs> you on the program. If you're always proud of you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for me. having me here. Well, and you're doing <laughs> all right. the hard work. Mm -hmm. I mean, does hard work make people more beautiful? <laughs> I think you're flattering me. <laughs> I'm a grandma, Aww. but you know me, I love working. It yeah. gives me pleasure. Okay. Yeah, and especially when you are making a huge impact on a huge number of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you. Each time I see you, I'm proud Thank that you. I groomed you, mm -hmm. you know, so I'm happy. Wow. <laughs> and um, it's been a streak of wins since you took over as the commission. Of course, this is your, the second term, mm -hmm. your second term in office, and uh, we're hoping for more terms, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, uh, even at higher levels. <laughs> so what can we say now? I mean, this is, some people say it's unprecedented, but I, I mm -hmm. beg to disagree. What did I give glory to God, you know, for, for the strength, you know, for his um, unending blessings, and for blessing our little efforts in our state. Mm -hmm. Um, after that, I really want to thank His Excellency Chief Dr. William Biano, the Executive Governor of Nafa Nambra State. Because what people probably do not know is that in 2014, when we stepped in, you know, when I came in as Honorable Commissioner for then education, mm. um, we have a clear blueprint about what we want to do in education. And I tell people, is that blueprint that I'm driving? Mm. You know, His Excellency had a clearly defined blueprint about what he wants us to do in education. Number one, we look at education from three pronged area. We talk about infrastructure, which does not just mean the building, it means the state of art equipment in the building. We talk about teachers' welfare, which, you know, the capacity building that we give to teachers. We've taken our teachers, it's on record, we've taken our teachers to <laughs> every part of international visibility mm -hmm. that we give to our teachers. We've taken them to Singapore for training. We've taken them, our teachers, to Dubai. In fact, as I speak to you, and there are some teachers, some of the teachers that have done so well that um, are in Dubai, you know. I, and uh, this is what His Excellency wants, you know, building the capacity of the teachers. Because uh, if you talk about quality education, we cannot have quality education if we do not have quality teachers. So if you are talking about the incentives His Excellency gives to teachers, prompt payment of salary, it's on record that this is the government that is not owing teachers any dime. Sure. And uh, uh, Christmas time he gives them bonuses, you know, racks, bags of rice and a whole lot of things. He pays their um, um, leave allowances as a, as a win due. Um, he gives promotion, you know, as a twin due, and so on and so forth. So we talk about teachers' welfare. Mm. Uh, because we believe that if the teachers are happy, then they can do a whole lot of things to improve learning. Then you talk about students' welfare. Mm. You know, when we talk about the environment of the students, or we talk about uh, exposure, international visibility that we give to our students. You know, His Excellency Chief Dr. Willow Gano has promised to mark one day number that will give them education that is globally competitive. Mm. And uh, that's what we're doing, you know. It's on record, like, ju just today again, I got a letter from the President's School Debate, you know, Championship, uh, School Debate of Nigeria, that Anambra State will be representing the country next year in the World School Debate. Wow. You know? 
and uh, taking place in Mexico. Wonderful. And uh, they was made it clear that because we have been the champion of uh, national debates, you know, for four consecutive times. Mm. In fact, we are keeping. The, we have the cup for mm. keeps. Mm. Last year, when we hosted the President School Debates of Nigeria Championship in, in, in Nigeria, we came first, beating all other states in Nigeria, including Abuja. Mm. And we have the cup for keeps. And today, I received the letter that will be re uh, representing Nigeria in the world. Uh, school debate tournament in Mexico. Mm. And I must say that our students have also gone to, to Singapore, mm. you know, for the debate tournament. The first Nigeria Singapore debate tournament that we held in 2016, Anambra State beat the Cartoon Convent School, wow. 80 year old school in Singapore and we came we became, we were the best team, we were the best speaker and I remember all to go my daughter. So I did, but still operate church at home. So we demystified whiteness for them. Wow. We've given them confidence. We know that they can stand before people in public speaking and talk. Hmm. We started the, the Governor's Debate Championship where we exposed last year, the one we did, about 1,500 schools uh, you know, participated. And the schools uh, that came top, so it was just clear that they are very good. And His Excellency is beginning to build what you call the Anambra State Literary and Creative Hub, you mm. know, a literary hub that uh, uh, will be built in, in, in a school in Obunike, you know, where we want to begin to groom these children in public speaking, bring yeah. people that, because the challenge we have is that sometimes when they go for the debate, is the diction and all these things that might, yes, you know, right. knock them off. Mm. So we want to begin to train them in our allocution, we need to train them in pronunciation, we need to get them to begin to, if you like, talk in the language, you could that the white people can understand. That's true. Mm -hmm. You know, so we went to Indonesia too. You know, um, uh, two years ago, we went to Indonesia. We took our children to Indonesia, and um, they did very well because at least they beat Barbados. Wow! Yes, and uh, if they were able in the preliminary debate to beat Barbados, what it means that we're actually giving them education that is globally competitive. Absolutely. So it's a very clear mandate what we are running, and we mm -hmm. have a strategic objective that the learning needs of all must be met okay. through equitable distribution of resources mm. and the learning of lifelong skills mm. and ensure we are one of the three top states with the lowest illiteracy rate. Wow. And therefore we say that no child is to be left behind. Mm -hmm. Therefore we talk about skill development, we talk about, if you come to the Ministry of Education, you see we are, we say welcome to the Ministry of Education, we are skills are developed. I hope you know that uh, in Anambra State, any child in the technical college that is in NTC 1 to NTC 3, you know, has free tuition. Wow. You know, but that's one of the things we are doing to be able to get, the, you know, in the middle um, human resources, you know, of the artisans, you know, to get them on board and make sure that these children get the skills they need, mm. you know, to, to, to be competitive. In the, in, the, in the job market. Well, mm. the winning streaks, it's an ending. Mm. And there's one that I would also want us to go mm. back to. Of course, it happened sometime last year. Mm. Um, when you spoke about the school debates and the fact that Anambra State has won four times at mm. a stretch, mm. it tells me that it, it all happened within your mm -hmm. tenure mm. in office. Yeah. So now, talking about technovision mm. as well, you talked mm. about technical yeah. colleges and mm -hmm. You know, that win, what's the impact and um, how far have we taken it beyond the win? Uh, well, um, first of all, I, I want to, you know, tell people, because sometimes the argument people make is that uh, Regina Apache is a mission school and not a public school. Um, and they, they think that uh, the government didn't have a hand in any of those things that happened. Um, and um, I know that I'm in charge of the private schools and uh, we have done an education in such a way that we want to change the psyche of our children. Okay. Which the private school, the public school, the vision school, everybody in the education sector, you know, they live and breathe the tertiary values. To make a positive impact on everyone I meet and everywhere I go to be a solution provider and not a part of the problem to be solved, to be a role model worthy mm -hmm. of emulation, to be my best in all I do, 
particularly the things I'm naturally good at. To do the right thing at all times, regardless of it at the wrong time. To value time and make the basis of it. To care and show respect through my words and actions. To consciously build a great legacy, starting now, today mm -hmm. and every day. To live a life of integrity and honor. And to make my family, my state, my nation and my God proud. So help me God. Mm -hmm. This is like the Ten Commandments for us. Every child in an unprecedented building, in the remote part, mm -hmm. there was this excellency went to uh, Ibaku, you know, a very mm -hmm. remote part of, and the, the children come and go, it was a recitation, and they, blah, 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 they did that. Wow. He gave them a call. <laughs> he couldn't believe it. Wow. We drove this thing to the very farthest part of an unprecedented everywhere. And this is what our children believe. We taught them some mantra, we say, nothing is impossible. Mm. Absolutely nothing is impossible. You know, we said, I do not accept failure. And yes, we can. Mm. These are the things we chant every day. And it enters the very fiber of the children. Okay. So they can take up challenges. They know that they have to be the best in all they do. Mm -hmm. And it is the same thing for all our schools, whether public, private, okay. mission, whatever, mm -hmm. everywhere. They know that. Mm. It's already in them, and they know that. So when the, I was in, I was in, uh, you remember, remember that's, Last year or two years ago, governor sent some of us to Harvard, mm. you know, uh, uh, for some training. I was in Harvard when I got this mail about these young girls who, who, are, uh, who have won in Nigeria and they are going to, uh, uh, you know, for the Tech Revolution Pitching Challenge in Silicon Valley. When I came back, I quickly called Uche Onwamwe, who, who is a mentor, and um, asked her to bring the children to governor. You needed to see my governor. Wow. He told them, look at these old people, they don't have two heads. You can't beat them. We asked them to decide the 10 shared values. We told them that you have to make your family, your state, your nation, and your God proud. We supported them in every way. Gave them money for flights mm -hmm. and all those things. You know, package them in such a way. It was unbelievable. Because we were keeping up with them. Their mentor was chatting me all the time, telling me. Mm -hmm. And one day, you know, just uh, because I was awake. The text message came in, you know, on my WhatsApp, and he said, we won. Oh. Good. Just like that. I said, that's not true. Oh. I couldn't believe it. I, could, I mean, it was one of the most pleasant surprises I ever had in my life. Oh. And I couldn't believe it. And I said, wow. But I knew they could do it because they are an umbrella state children. The light of the nation. Oh. So we went. And that's real. The governor has already given them full scholarship up to the university level. Okay. As I speak to you now, we have put the money for them in trust with the Catholic Church, you know, we are who own the school. Okay. So the government has paid all their due to the sixth year of their university. Wow. They are holding the trust for them. That's governor for okay. you. And beyond that, we are working with the uh, Wame who yesterday he was, she was in my office. You know, we were trying to even when I was coming down, my, uh, he sent me a message, a message about the possible competition we also be going to Amer America. She's, she has gone into her public schools and she's teaching them robotics, you know, a whole okay. lot of things. I was there at uh, um, All Saints Cathedral um, on the during one of the holidays when I, I was able to see what the children were doing. These are public school children. So okay. we haven't left it. We, we, we've understood and we know that STEM, you know, the science, uh, tech, mm -hmm. you know, uh, technology, engineering, mathematics, robotics, all these things have come to stay. Yes, and sure. um, it, it's not something, because if we talk about global competitiveness for our children, we need to open our horizon for them mm -hmm. to be able to unleash their potentials. Okay, so, so beyond yeah, that, yeah, Anambra State well. is still on course, yeah, it's and so course. we can only anticipate more wins. We, we have to win more. Wow. Yeah. This is still the Lights TV show. We'll take a quick break, stay put, because we'll get personal when we come back. Oh, 